Hello and welcome to 10 Pin Bowling, Wii Edition on RBTV. I'm Casey Vleto with Matt Angio and Anthony Landall on the sideline. On today's matchup, two staff members will face off against two students. Representing the RB staff are Dave, the IT guy Fisher, and Ryan, Shadora the Explorer. Representing the student body, we have Caleb, Ponytail Sheshler, and Constantine, the hockey man Stanovich. Let's get started with a quick sideline report with Anthony Landall. Yes, and I'm here with Caleb and Constantine. And guys, how are you feeling about today's matchup? Well, I'm a bit out of my element here playing on the Wii, but I think I'll do it all right, Rob. Constantine? I'm feeling great. Uh, yeah, I think I should have a good round. And Caleb, you mentioned before that you have very little experience in this field. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, I've only played uh, bowling on the PlayStation. I've never actually played Wii bowling, but I think I'll catch it, right? All right, thank you. And we're going to go over to the staff really quick. Guys, how do you feel about facing up against the younger group? Uh, and what are your guys' experience on the Wii Bowling? Uh, I haven't played uh, Wii Bowling for probably almost 10 years now. So, so I'm a little scared, but I think, I think it's good. I think it's going to be a great matchup, guys. A lot of drama going on, and let's see what happens. Back to you guys. Okay, guys. Well, we've heard it on the sidelines. Let's get started with gameplay. Leading off for Team RB students, we have Caleb Sheshler. And here we go, let's get this game underway. Got Caleb, he's wearing, he's got, you know, casual Friday look, you know, day away from spring break. He looks ready to uh, stay in Illinois. Here we go, Caleb, he's gonna wear all the blue ball. Yeah, it's uh, definitely all about hand-eye coordination in this game and it's definitely a battle of the arcade. Here we go, Caleb. First roll, oh, it's a slow roller. I say five miles an hour. It's, it's straight, though. It's curving to the left. It's gonna hit the head pin. And Caleb will finish with a score. Seven pins right there. Very nice, five, six, 10 pickup. That's not really hard. That's an easy, easy spare situation. Let's see if he can, uh, Come up clutch. Yeah, you got that seven, and you know what they say about getting seven, you're going to heaven. Yeah. Oh, a little uh, missed throw. Here's the throw, and he is going to. Ooh, uh, you got one of them. Unable to capitalize on that situation, but uh, here we have Ryan Shirota, the Shadora the Explorer up. He's got some uh, colorful striped socks on, always the suspenders. He's got the Tom McCluskey look going for him right now. You know, Tom McCluskey, when he wears suspenders, he wins. Yeah, lucky suspenders. Is he going to go with the curveball? Wow, very nice spin right down the middle, almost. Six pins. Roll number two. Hey, they're all in a group, though. He's got a four, five, seven, eight split. Not a split, but it's uh, they're all in the group, left side of the corner. Mm -hmm. He elects for a little bit of a curve. Ooh, very nice spin again. And that one went perfect. Ah, that time. pick it up. He got the spare. Very nice by Ryan. That's going to give them an early lead. Here comes Khan. He needs to uh, come back with a big, big ball right here. Yeah, I mean, if he wants to be on top, he needs to get a strike immediately. Khan, oh, the fastest out of the three. Straight. Oh, ah. almost hit it that time. Just misses the seven. And this is hard for a righty. He's got to keep it online with the, uh, with the gutter. Oh, yeah. oh, he's gonna he's gonna scare the people a little bit right here, but here we go. <laughs> yep. uh, oh, he does it again. Having trouble with the bowling ball. This might be a factor into the entire game, Matt. Looks like he was throwing the ball over his head. He got it. Uh, he's got it. He's got the spare. Oh. Big, big ball right there. It's gonna keep them within striking distance, bringing up Dave, who's got probably the most Wii experience out of the four of them. Hasn't played for 10 years. Dave man, the caveman, going for the strike. Oh, he likes to throw the ball up Ooh. in the air high. Oh, uh, nice. he's got a split. He does got a split. He knows it. Five, four, five, seven. Gonna need a hit between the four and the five. And he is going to get two out of the three. Yep, man. He just couldn't get that middle one. He knows he's a. Uh, that he, he could have done better. He knows 
with that. But uh, currently a very close game. Two opens, one for each team. Caleb, roll number two. Ooh, a little bit to the left. A little bit too much topspin. Missed the head pin. One, three, six, eight. He's a, it's a pretty difficult. And he, he hit the, the back pin. He hit the sleeper right there, the eight pin. So that's going to give uh, Ryan the opportunity to further this lead. Yeah, and you can tell with uh, most righties, their ball is going to spin to the left every single time. That one uh, was pretty close. I mean, he's got that same kind of form like last time. Uh, he, he likes to have his uh, left foot uh, perp and right foot perpendicular to each other. You can't see that, but uh, he's got a weird feet movement there. A little bit of curve. It's going to get two, maybe a slide and hit the third. Oh, nope. put him in the third one right there. It would have been a very nice. Yeah, he had a split there, so I don't blame him. But, you know, we do have close scores right now. Constantine, he's got a spare. So this first roll is a uh, big roll. And, you know, again, right down the middle, he might get the strike here. Oh, and he does. And that's going to count towards the end. I'll tell you that right now. Strikes will make a very big difference in this game. It was a beautiful, you know, hit right in between the one and the three. Every pin goes down. Domino effect. Here we go. Dave, he's got to respond. The veteran lining up in the middle. Here he goes. Beautiful. Oh, oh wow. he deserved better. He got eight. He, six, nine. That's what he has left. Needs to pick it up. Up in the it's air, a little shot. curve. Oh, a little bit to the Left right. Left open, and I think the students have a lead now. Caleb needs to further this lead right here. He likes with the ponytail. And wow. a lot of spin and a lot of speed. Eight pins. He's got the nine, ten, left back right corner of the screen. Here he goes, right down the middle, and he's just going to hit the Ooh. nine. And if he could have got the left side of that, that one pin that he hit, he could have potentially bounced and hit that right corner pocket. Yep, we're in the third frame, very close game. After this third frame, we're going to throw it back over to our man Anthony. But, uh, yeah, really close. We, it's very close, but Ryan just got himself into a big pickle right now. 5-10 split. Going to need to hit the side, left side of this five. And he's going to throw it, and he's going to curve. Ooh, oh, gutter ball. Gutter ball, and it looks like the staff just not able to keep up with the, the kids who play more video games. And they all have the same idea because they're righty. They want to aim it a little bit more to the right because they know it's going to spin uh -oh, more to Constantine the left. might have a big split here. Ooh, he yeah, does. That's a tough one to get. Hit the dead middle, not very fast ball, and he's got a lot of garbage to work with right now. Four, seven, nine, ten. He's probably just gonna get two, three at most because this is a mm. this is quite a split situation. He does have the highest score of the four bowlers. He's gonna elect to go to the left side, and he will get two. Two. Two is probably the most you could have got on that one. Yeah, he's got forty-six. That's the best out of all of them. David, who has the lowest score so far, needs a six to pass up Caleb. Last bowl of the third frame. Oh, he likes to fast bowl. Oh, that's oh. a good one. He gets nine. Almost nicked the last pin. Here he goes. And will it hit it? Oh, last second curve, and we are going to end the third frame. We got some scores right now. It's Caleb, 24. Ryan, 34. Our leader, Constantine, 46 and 27 for Dave. Anthony, what do you got over there? Well, Caleb, how are you feeling about that first four frames? Well, uh, it's three frames. And I'd say I'm uh, getting a, I'm say I'm just trying to get the hang of this uh, bulky controller. I'm not very used to it. And uh, I know it's a bit cliche to blame the controller for not doing well in a game, but you know, it's, it's cumbersome. I'm not used to it. It's got a weird feel. Constantine, you had a strike and you're getting those pens down. Well, what do you think is the secret so far to your success? Um, just aiming a little bit to the right um, and getting you know, a good enough spin on there. And you know, I've been pretty successful with that, so I'm going to keep you going for the rest of the game. 
And we're going to come over to the staff who is on the losing side, unfortunately. Guys, what's going on out there? I feel great. We're performing exactly as we expected. All right. Uh, what do you think you should improve on in this uh, next coming frames? I think we just need to get more strikes. Uh, I think we can do it. All right, guys, that seems like the analysis over here. Let's head it back to you. Okay, guys, let's start frame number four with Caleb. He's averaging eight pins per frame, 24 on the day, and let's see what he can do to increase this student lead. Caleb Schleschler, Schleschler. Oh, and there's the But he does get a strike, guys. That was a big, big bold. You know, he said he was getting used to this contraption, but uh, I think he did. Yes, I think it was those exact same words, contraption of a controller. Coach Dave, he said they can get strikes, and Ryan says I can get gutters. Gutter ball. L little too much spin right there, a lot of spin. He was playing hooky right there, did not work. He's going for the spin again. Whoa. This time, nine. Nice one. You know, that's good. He, after getting zero, anything would be good, but then nine, that's solid. But Constantine, he's been the man out here. Just had an open, but that was a split. Constantine's score is 46 right now. He, oh, his man. strategy of going to the right didn't go into effect there. He went to the left, got himself another split. Today he's got the 5-6-10 split. Constantine, I think, has tied for the most splits in the first few frames. It looks like he might just get that one pin. One pin, and this gives Dave a man on a mission to win. He knows he can do better than... Uh, he has, he's averaging nine pins per frame, but in bowling you can do a lot better than 10 pins per frame. Hmm. Fastball, Very down fast. the middle, Is it the shoes? Right there. Dave, he, he had a plan and you know, he gave himself a little pep talk. Didn't work with Ryan as much, but Dave, big right there as Caleb going off of a strike. It's gonna add 10 pins to his first bowl. Very nice speed. Oh, just took out those six, six pins. pins. So that's going to bring up Caleb's score considerably after that 24. Still in the lead is Constantine. He's got a 54. Ryan close behind with a 43. But Caleb and Dave coming off of strikes for their respective teams. Caleb needs to pick this up. Oh, wow. And he does. Looks like the he man, just got... Caleb, you know, I gotta give it to that ponytail a little bit. Here we go. Dave. Uh, this is Ryan right here. Ryan's got 43 after four frames. Just came off of a nine. He does not want the curve oh. today. Does get nine. He's got a very easy spare right here. He needs the spare. He hasn't spared all day. I believe. That's incorrect. Uh, it's incorrect. Oh. oh. Until now. Until now. Oh. See something right there, but Constantine, let's go. He's got 54 after four. He's had two straight open frames after some splits. Let's see if he can manage to get himself a nice spare situation. Hits the right side as he wanted, and. Oh, oh. man, that's going to be a tough one to get. He got eight pins. Uh, that pin just. Did not want to drop. He's got a third straight split after leading the squad in pins. He has gotten himself into quite the last few frames of trouble. Now his best bet might be hitting the right side of the three, and that would bounce and hit the seven. But it looks like he's going to get the left side of the three. And it's just going to be one pin. So far, Constantine's still in the lead. You know, Dave, but Dave is coming off a strike. Ten pins added to this roll right here. It is a great roll down the middle. And, oh, he deserved better than that. He hit what he needed to do. Instead, he gets a banana split right here. Five, seven, nine, that is. And he's going to do a slow roller. It might. It could. This is going to wait and see. Oh, he Ooh. gets two. And it seems that Dave has had the best form out of them all, yet it's just not going down for him. You know, Dave and Caleb, they have considerably came back and are close to now Ryan and Constantine's scores. Caleb coming off a spare. He has spared and struck in his last Whoa. two frames and he gets nine there. Let's see if he can get his third straight strike or spare. And it's he's going for the spare. He needs this. Currently tied for the lead with Constantine. Very nice. And he gets it. Caleb has had recent success with this ball. And here I have Ryan 
who's desperately trying to close this gap. He has 52 after 5. This is going to be the sixth frame. We're going to go to Anthony after the conclusion of this frame and Ryan making a statement. This game is not over yet, Matt. What do you think of that last shot by Ryan? A whammy shot, I believe. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you would have to say that the staff is really trying to come back right now. They're down by about 20 pins because uh, both Constantine and Caleb, both around 63. Constantine might get himself into another split here. Ooh. Four straight splits by Constantine. Something is up. Seems like his luck has shifted to now Caleb, and Caleb has given Constantine the uh, first few frames. He's got the yips now. And have you seen Constantine's shoes? Yeah, Constantine elected for the red and white Nikes. Uh, did not match the green, and here we have Dave trying to make a statement before uh, the quick toss over interviews. 71 for Constantine, considerably dropped uh, in the last three frames. Dave trying to do well, and oh, oh just nine. one more left. He's got nine. 55, he just came off of an open. He needs this, and he will not get it by an inch. But conclusion of six frames, we're going to toss it over to our silent reporter, Anthony Landall. And so, Caleb, I, I guess the luck has definitely shifted for you. How have you been feeling after these last few frames? It's not luck, it's just skill. You have to feel out the physics of every new game, and I think I've got a handle on it at this point. Constantine, a lot of bad luck out there. What's going through your mind? Um, I think I'm just not getting the ball fast enough. I mean, I got the right angles. I just got to get a little bit faster, and then I should be good. Now, the staff, we've seen some a lot of strikes from you more than the first few frames. Uh, what's the attitude going into this uh, last stretch? Let's keep going. Now, what do you think is uh, the strategy to uh, your form, Dave? Uh, you seem to put it, be putting a curve on it. Yeah, we, I don't really put a curve. I want it down, right down the lane. I want, I want to hit all those pins. I want to get those strikes. All right, guys. It seems like it's going to be a very close, maybe a final. The staff might come back. Let's check it out. Back to you guys. Yeah, down the stretch to see uh, Caleb. He is leading the game, with, coming off three straight frames in which he got a strike and two spares. Let's see if that... Quick interview iced him over there. And the success is going to keep going for oh. Caleb. Yeah, I think we could say that it's a myth. You don't need bowling shoes to bowl. No, Caleb, he's got some black shoes on. He's got the uh, simple green sweater, some nice dark blue jeans. And he's got the seven pin right here. And he's just a man on a mission to get a win for the students. And you know, Another Ooh. spare. You see a little elbow toss right there from Caleb. He's ecstatic. He's got that little celebration. He's cocking back the elbow. Ryan coming off a strike. This could be a big. He gets 10 added to his last. This, this roll, so he's going to get seven. And he did say at the break with uh, Anthony, he said, strive for greatness. He's like, we cannot stop. We got to keep going. And he just uh. misses that one. Unable to execute, missed the one, the three, and the six, the one, three, and the yeah, six there. Constantine, the C, he's got four straight frames with a open after four straight splits. Constantine not throwing it as fast as he wanted to and avoiding the split, but can he pick up a spare? Caleb has been just leading the team, carrying the team on his back after Constantine did that in the first three frames. Constantine wearing a lime green shirt. Man on a mission, and that mission is accomplished. Finally gets a spare. Nice spare. And he's doing really good. The crowd really, goes wild, the, man. The crowd is going crazy. Yeah, it looks like Dave's still got that good form. And right down the pipe almost. Uh, a little bit to the left. He's got a little spare, or he's got a little split here. It's not the toughest split, though. He's got a three, the sleeper nine behind it, and the uh, ten in the back right corner. Going to have to shift a little left. He's going to spin the ball right. This could be close, guys. And he's going to hit the three. Oh, oh. and would not hit the ten. Very close. You couldn't even see that. Pin behind it. No, no, a sleeper pin right there, Matt. But Caleb, five straight frames, 
four straight frames of either spare or strike. Let's see if he continue that success. And he is going to on the pipe again. Strike, and this game seems to be getting out of hand as the the staff has been unable to pick up their spares. Ryan and Dave need to step it up right here. Ryan, coming off an open, he's at 76 pins. Caleb, around 120 right now, and Ryan just not getting wow. used to the ball. He got a lot down though. He did, but he's got a lot of. He's got uh, two pins left. Back right corner. 9-10. Needs this right here. Looks like he's going for the 10. He needs them both. Or he might go for needs the 9. Needs them both. Can he get this? Oh, oh. too much late breaking spin. And D Mama Dave not happy right there. Yep, Mama Dave. We got Constantine again. Not getting fed tonight. Is it the shoes, Constantine? Will you get a strike again? Constantine down the pipe. Can we say strike? Oh, oh, very close. Eight pins. He's got the four seven right here, Constantine. The hockey man, not bowling's not his sport, and bowling he's gonna oh he's gonna get them both. Bowling may be his sport. Might need to hang up the skates. Hang up the skates. Get the bowling shoes. Put on the bowling shoes. Make sure you get the wrist brace too. You gotta be totally legit. Here we go. It is Dave. Round frame eight, coming off a few straight open frames. Seventy-two is the score. Dave expects perfection out of himself, and he's going to get. Oh, he's going to avoid a uh, very awful split right there. Just needs to get this six pin down. That's three times in a row. He's gotten every single pin except one. Here he goes, and he's going to miss oh, it. Oh, oh man, that's. And Caleb's up in quote unquote contraption of a controller, yet he's doing the best right now. Yeah, no, he's got five straight frames, a strike or a spare. Oh. And, Mike. and that might continue. He has a 4 7 right here. His score around 130, Matt. It is getting up there considerably above everyone else. And he continues the streak. The streak is real. Yeah, no, he's a right. He, uh, Oh, 122 after eight frames. We are entering the ninth frame of play. The score is around 220 to 160 right now, and team staff. And it looks like he's just spinning it a little bit to the left. A little too much. He's got a lot of hook. It might have to do with those socks, man. Those straps a little, little busy. But you know, he might have gotten it down oh. here because he's gonna get nine. That was a good one. We got Constantine back up again. Constantine, if he gets two, he's at 100. Let's see if he can get triple digits. He will indeed get those triple digits. And another split. So four splits in a row, you know. We'll get a spare here and then back to the splits. And he is going to, you know, he'll get the left one. He'll get one of them. Nine for Constantine. He's over the century mark. He's at 116. His partner around 130, and they are just continuing to pile on this deficit onto team staff staff David uh, Dave Fisher unhappy with himself and Dave just like Dave Bowie a man on the mission major time uh, the ground control will he get it I think it's going to be close a game time decision he does get it wow. little uh, this pump, but it just is too late, Matt. It seems to be too late. Caleb sitting around 140. He's entering the 10th frame. Six straight frames, possibly, of getting a strike or a spare. Caleb. And he's got the speed. The contraption is going to give him an eight. And this is the 10th frame, so if he can pick up this split, then he can... Uh, He'll get a third roll, but he needs to pick up this 8 10 this a 5-10 split. Looks like he's going for the right spin. And he's not. He's going to get a f hit the 5. His final score being calculated right now, that is a 149. Caleb is going to uh, get the highest score out of the th four of them as Constantine uh, sits at 116 before his final throw. This is Ryan trying to break the century mark. He just hit 100 with that last bowl. 
the 136. He went open on his last time, and he will do it again. Ooh. Ryan, final score, 100. And he made it flat, 100 flat, but... Uh, yeah, flat, just like uh, Constantine's shoes right now. He's got the very unique sense of style here, and he's going to barely tip the head pin, not get much more, not enough speed, and he's going to get six. Constantine back at it again with the green shirt. He's in 122 right now. Final roll, possibly, and he is going to pick it up. He's going to get another roll. Constantine gets one more roll, and his day will be... Oh, yeah, here we go. Constantine's final roll. Drum roll, please. Could it be down the pipe? It might be. Oh, and he got lucky on that one. Constantine puts up a big 2-0 in that final frame. Going to put his score at 136. Matt, he was very close to uh, his partner score, Caleb. This will combine. They are sitting 100 and 86 points. Oh, man. Boy. He saves it. Dave saves the day. Dave, he's coming. He, he wants to show respect. He wants to say, hey, you it. won, but I'm going to make it look a lot. Right down the pipe again. Oh, and just doesn't get it for him. Seven pins. His final roll of the day. Here we go. That's a very nice shot. Got those. He got two. Two. So final score right now. Dave Fisher's final score is going to be 120 points. But before we wrap this up, Anthony, let's hear it. Well, guys, we have uh, we have the staff on the losing end over here. Guys, what, what went on out there today? We did the best we can, and you fight the good fight. And Dave here fought the good fight, and I didn't so much. Dave, what was uh, your little secret to success out there? You got 120 points. Um, you know, I was just uh, trying to get those strikes, got to get those strikes early and often. Early and often strikes. All right, thank you. And on the winning end, we have Caleb and Constantine. Constantine, I'm going to start with you. You came in second place. You're, what was going on out there? You were getting a lot of splits. Um, I just wasn't hitting the ball fast enough, really. So, I mean, when you don't hit the ball good, I mean, it's going to split. But I came through at the end. We got the win, so that's all that matters. And, of course, our most outstanding player and our most amateur player, Caleb Schlesler with 149 points. Caleb, were you in the zone out there or what? I mean, once once you start playing a video game long enough, you always get in the zone. For me, it's one. For me, around that fourth frame is usually a turning point in, uh, as far as the time scale of this game, where I where it sort of clicked for me and I started to understand how the ball moves. All right, thank you guys so much. We're gonna throw it right back to you guys. Yeah, but uh, Matt, that was a great game. I mean, the students after frame four, they just took the game and they kept mm -hmm. that that bus rolling. Uh, final score of 285 to 220. The staff uh, on the losing side, but you know, from here at RBTV, I'm Casey Vleda with Matt Angio and uh, Anthony Landau. Thanks for watching 10 Pin Bowling, We Edition. We'll see you next time.